So, now that our ratings have hit another all-time low for the 174th consecutive week, I think we need to discuss how we can make the show even more insulting to viewers' intelligence. So Ron, how about it eh? What's next for the one veteran character story I allow you to run concurrently with teens and young adults with IQs in the 60s? Brian, I have so much history I want to butcher. Since I have already made Rebecca Lewis into a serial killer, and then made that son of a bitch, Todd, not give a rat's ass about her upon discovering that the sweet and innocent love of his life had tried to murder him and his entire family, I think it's time to move towards phase two. I want to bring back that son of a bitch, Larry Wallach and have him molest Star as an evil doctor. I will recast him, and then write him nothing like the original character. The best part will be when nobody in Landview is surprised. Once that storyline ends abruptly, and is quickly forgotten about, I will move on to my next nod to history. Maybe I'll bring that bitch, Luna, back from the dead, and have her stab Marty. It is not important to write characters realistically, based on what they were like before. It is only important to bring them back every now and then. Like how I bring back that son of a bitch RJ Gannon, and that son of a bitch David Vickers, and give them hardly any scenes. Popular characters are not the ones you want to write stories for. They are there as props. This way, we'll keep old viewers watching the show, by tricking them into thinking we're acknowledging the past, but in reality we're just making a caricature of classic stories. Ah, nothing like throwing old characters from the show's beloved past under the bus for no reason whatsoever. Now this sounds like something I can get on board with. So what about the rest of the show? Pardon? You know, Super Spider Bat Danger Mighty under Captain John McBain and everyone in Landview 90210? Well, I haven't really thought about that. With God, I mean, John McBain, I usually jack ideas from old clips of Batfink. The teen stories are hard to write accurately, because I haven't been a 15-year-old girl in a long time. Well I'm a 15-year-old girl, so if you're stumped, just hand me a pen and some paper, will do. And I did what you asked, I kept GG from telling that son of a bitch Rex about that bitch Stacy, because she's afraid of God killing Shane for breaking her promise, that she would break up with that son of a bitch Rex. But I'm not sure when, and where to reveal the truth, just wait another three years. Drag it out until the fans don't care anymore. You don't need to reveal any of your secrets on a soap opera, that's antiquated thinking. Anyway, I just wanted to call you in here, to remind you of our mission on One Life to Live. I think you've been getting too far away from that lately, so let me remind you. John 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 John